Jay, one of those games may be expected between two high-powered offenses. Uh, I know having the leads might be a little disappointing, but getting a point on the road against cup champs, not too bad of a situation. You know, normally I might dress it up and say hey, it's good to get a point, but uh, I got to say that 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 was uh, utterly disappointing for us. Um, the way we um, handled some things in the third period there, we thought, uh, I, in fact, we know we can defend a lot better than we did. and. Um, Ultimately, uh, it cost us getting uh, the second point, but uh, we'll take the point and move on. But to dress it up any other way is other than disappointing uh, would be um, not honest. Is this a bit of a carryover, not just maybe today, but just the last couple of games where you've been you know, close but not quite getting that goal or shoot at opportunity you would like? Well, I, I think we gave up uh, four against Detroit, uh, four um, at home the other night as well uh, against a high-flying New York Ranger team in regulation, I'm talking. So 4-4 four, four, and then uh, 6 tonight. Uh, that's not conducive to the type of hockey that gets played in, in the month of May and into the month of June. So for us, um, it's important we look in the mirror here and, and uh, determine how we're going to try and win hockey games. Um, there were a lot of good things in that game, especially offensively. Uh, we got contributions up and down the lineup, but um, to dress it up as anything other than disappointing that we didn't defend the right way down the stretch, um, as I said, that would be false. Jay, last game and this game, you storm out to 3 nothing leads, unable to hold on. What's the main difference when it comes to the execution of the game plan of getting to that three-goal lead and then not being able to hold on to it? Yeah, I thought we skated. Uh, I thought we skated well early. I thought our penalty kill. I mean, you know, uh, we found ourselves four penalties down. I think 23 minutes into the game or so. Um, so I thought all of that was was really good. Um, I don't think we took our foot off the gas in any way. Just think there's moments in the game, um, individual moments where we can be a lot better in. Um, and uh, as I said, you know, if if we want to play. Uh, the type of hockey we want to play down the stretch and in the, to the month of May and in the month of June, uh, you don't see these types of games. Uh, so it's an area of improvement for us. We have a lot of proud people. We're sticking together. Um, but we will look in the mirror and, and uh, address what needs to be addressed. Did having to go 11-6 and six for the second straight game play a factor in the fatigue that we saw in the late stages of this game? You know what, I think that's excuses. And uh, we're not in the business of making excuses. We're in the business of getting better, and that's what we're going to have to do because six goals against, um, not good enough. Tomorrow is a day off. It's family day. I wonder if that's a, a good day for guys just to yeah, think about maybe their own games a little bit, but also spend some time away from the rink and, and ready to go next game out. Yeah, scheduled day off. Um, and then, you know, the coaches uh, will be getting ready for um, a really competitive Philadelphia team. And, and then uh, on Tuesday, uh, we'll go through a regular pregame skate and, and uh, get ready. Um, but certainly we're going to have to use today's game as a learning experience. Um, as I said, it, and it will be on the defensive side of things. It's not going to be on the offensive side.